Hey family, how are you? Hey family, how are you? Happy day two to every day with Jazzy in June. It's called Just Jazzy in June. Y'all was all under my last video like, it's only 30 days inside June, Jazzy. Not 31, how y'all know I'm not going to the first? Yep, yep, yep. Not only are we celebrating Just Jazzy in June, but it's Pride Month. So if you homophobic, you might as well be big mad. Big, big mad, because all of us gays are here to stay. Happy Pride Month, be gay. Live in your truth. Live out loud. Love who you love, because if you know, you know. Back in the days, your auntie, your godmother, that was your mama girlfriend, and they was hunching. They just didn't tell you that. When your mother used to say, oh, I'm going to my friend's house. <laughs> That's when they had dykes out. They wasn't called studs. <laughs> they had the eight inch in their closet. I'm just letting you know. And by the way, don't mind my nails. The grossest thing happened to me, y'all. So I ate curry for the first time. It was good. It was extremely spicy. I didn't know curry was spicy like that. But nobody told me that curry stains i've been scrubbing my hands i even used bleach and the bleach made it even more yellow so my nails i was eating the curry chicken like this with my fingers my nails has curry all over it i am pissed next time tell me that curry stains there's a fly flying around here and i will beat i will beat this fly. so i just want to let y'all know in advance that today's video is very embarrassing <laughs> I feel the judgment coming. I, I I feel like I want to make a disclaimer. I'm talking to my friends in this video. Y'all know how sometimes I talk to the public and then other times I talk to just my friends. Because you know things you talk about amongst your friends, you can't talk about it with everybody else. I'm going to call the rest of y'all my coworkers. Because you know when you get to work, you got to be fake. Like, yeah, hi, yeah, I know me. Oh my God, is that marijuana? Is that, is that Reefus? I'm talking to my friends. So when you talk to your friends, you you know you're on a whole different time. And a lot of the things I'm going to talk about is very embarrassing. I'm talking about these things because one, I'm not ashamed. Two, I, I might as well be the realest person on the internet. Because everybody's so afraid to live in a truth and talk about stuff. And I get it. It's uncomfortable. But maybe if we talked about it a little more, it will be normalized. I'm going to be the one to talk about it. These are not my proudest moments. I, I, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't do this. So these are like my most embarrassing moments in life and things that I can remember that I said I will never talk about publicly. But I'm going to talk about it because I feel like if there's just one little person in the world that could relate, my job is done. My job is to let you know you're not alone. So here is one story I'm going to tell you guys about that's very, very embarrassing but it was my reality. So I lived with my mom for a really long time. I, I had three kids living with my mom. I, can, oh, I can't do math good. So y'all do the math for me. So Faith is 13 years old. I lived with my mom until Faith was one years old. And I am 34 now. So how old is that? So I'm 34. I lived with my mom until faith was one years old and faith is now 13 so 12 years ago i lived with my mom and i'm 34 yeah that's the age i, I moved out of my mother's house but living with my mother right my mother was the type of person that she take anybody in and, and, and when i say anybody i mean anybody my mother took in bums crackheads family members my mother did not care if you said you needed a place to stay my mother was going to let you stay there, period. She had a heart of gold, don't get me wrong. But sis, at some point, was you not thinking about the safety of your children? All you had to do was build a 10-minute bomb with my mother and she was letting you live in her house. Crazy, insane. Anywho, so one time, one of my cousins, this was like a really long time ago. I had to be about 11 years old. I'm 34, I was 11 then. I'm not good at math, you do it. How many years ago this was? So... One time my, my mother let my cousin live with us and my cousin woke up one morning and she had like these bites all over her body. Like it was everywhere, all over her body. Like not like acne, bites. So my cousin was like, damn, I keep waking up with all these bites all over my body. Keep in mind, this is when I was 11 years old. This was many years ago, right? 
So my cousin like, nah, this is not normal. This is not right. She lift up the mattress one day. Y'all see that fly that's pissing me off? She lift up the mattress one day. And the mattress was literally like moving. Covered in bugs moving. Remind you, this is many, many years ago. Before we knew what a bed bug was. Before anybody knew bed bugs was a thing. So my cousin like panicked. She went to the emergency room. I don't know what she went and told the emergency room. But whatever she told them, they contacted the CDC. This was before anybody knew what a bed bug was. But I think my mother was the first person with bed bugs. So she, I don't know what story she went and told that emergency room. Don't ask me. But whatever she told them, the CDC showed up to my mother's house white mask white body suits all of it all of it all of it all of it they was posted up outside of our house they gave us white garbage bags we was not allowed to come into contact with nobody they prescribed my mother caramel lotion i don't know if i'm saying it right but it's like pink lotion that you put on your body i don't know how to say it and we was quarantined because they didn't know what bed bugs was then this is before they knew what it was and this went on for some amount of time until they discovered like oh this is a bed bug that's what they have my mother had bed bugs ever since that very day my mother had bed bugs until i moved out of her house and when i tell y'all so embarrassing you don't know how bed bugs work unless you ever had them i don't know if bed bugs is still around to this day because i haven't heard about a bed bug in mad long but my mother had bed bugs ever since then Ever since, she had bed bugs for so long. Me, my children, or my mom, we don't get bit by them. Like, if they bite us, our skin just don't react to them because we're accustomed to it. That's how bad she had bed bugs. So, like, then they discovered it was a bed bug. And, like, after as the years went by, bed bugs became the norm. Yes, we had bed bugs for that many years. I had bed bugs for so long that I came, like, a bed bugologist. Okay? Like, so many embarrassing moments. I remember like this guy came to spend a night at my house and he, the we had unky unky and in the middle of the night he like, oh my God, did you use um love spell bath and body works? Cause only one time this happened to me before. I went to this girl house and I woke up with all these wets and bites on me and she said she used love spell. So I think I'm allergic to it. I was like, yeah, I use that. He was like, damn, that's what's happening to me. I said, yeah, that bitch had bed bugs too. She lied. And then one time, one of my baby fathers spent the night, oh my gosh, and I was asleep and I opened my eyes and like in the middle of the night, he had his flashlight from his phone, like killing the bed bug. And that, when I tell y'all, bed bugs had my family in a chokehold, like, and you don't know how they work. Like they used to be in the crevices of the curtains. If you like pull the tabs of your mattress back, all you need is one bed bug. So I try to explain to Kaisha, a lot of my trauma stemmed from that. So a lot of the times people think I'm doing too much, but I'm really just traumatized. So like the kids' friends can't just come over and sit on my couch. I'll make you take your clothes off at the door. At first, I keep it cute. I'll be like, oh, take your shoes off. Winter time, I give a bag and I let everybody put their jackets in a bag and I tie it up. And I know it look like I'm doing the most, but you don't understand. All it takes is one bed bug. One bed ask the kids what when my mother my mother still had bed bugs when she was in her process of doing drugs because she let the same crackheads come live in her house and bring stuff off the streets my mother called bed bugs so bad when she was doing drugs and i didn't allow her to come to my house and when she wanted to see me real bad ask kaisha what i would do i would make her stand in the hallway have the kids hold up a sheet have her stripped from head to toe and she had to throw her things in the garbage and I would have to give her new stuff to put on. It's not that I was doing too much. Y'all really don't understand till you ever lived with a bed bug, bro. I don't wish, I do wish that on my worst enemy. I don't wish death on nobody. But if me and you don't like each other, I wish you bed bugs. Because you don't know how a bed bug. Bro, my aunt was so accustomed to it. Like, oh my God. She used to smash them. And you know, when you smash them, if they bit somebody, the blood come out of it. And she had like blood stains on the wall from smashing bed bugs, bro. When I moved, I vowed to never let nobody in my house because of that. Between bed bugs and roaches, 
my we not even gonna talk about the roaches and now that i know my mother house was never so dirty it was dirty to my standards but it was just cluttered like older people with clutter i don't know if that's a thing that's why they call us millennials minimalists oh y'all just want the the white aesthetics nothing black well that's because our mothers had a, a damn china cabinet with 80 different things in it they had a junk drawer with things since we was in kindergarten the house looked like a hoarder's house that's why we don't want nothing in our living room huh we grew up like that how about that roaches go crazy in my mother's house like we had the ro we had albino roaches we had roaches in the refrigerator in the freezer we had the type of roaches that if you turn the kitchen light off before you flick it on you better stomp your feet clap your hands do a little dance spin in the circle you better announce yourself first because cutting on the kitchen light things got crazy we had the roaches that if you sit something down i tell kaisha all the time you know she live in a project roaches is inevitable i'd be like i'm not scared of a roach like i'll see a roach it's like oh yeah that's a roach but if i see a roach in my house i'ma lose it I, I'm, I'm going crazy you're gonna think i've never seen a roach before and it stems from trauma it stems from trauma bro i grew up with roaches so i know how they can get crazy roaches roaches go crazy bro and all it takes is one one pregnant roach will ruin your whole life you hear me once you see baby roaches just know there's a roach infestation somewhere and roaches go crazy and, and it won't even be you that's dirty it could be your neighbor that's dirty and her roaches will come over under, up under your door <laughs> I was so embarrassed about bed bugs and when I moved, I, I really wonder if bed bugs is still a thing, like for real. Do y'all remember when people finally discovered what bed bugs was and it was so crazy, like people was catching it from riding the trains and the buses. You had to change out of your clothes before you came in the house. Like, bro, and ain't no getting rid of no bed bugs. Ain't no putting no plastic on your bed. Ain't no putting alcohol around. Ain't no bed bugs. Ain't none of that. None of that ain't gonna work. Ain't no putting putting your clothes and your, your, your sheets and hot hot you got to throw that mattress out you got to throw that couch out you got to throw them curtains out ain't no no i was embarrassed to my core okay so that's one embarrassing moment in my life another very embarrassing moment in my life and this is how, like, oh my God, I was, I was young, bro. Faith had to be like six months. And you know, when you young and you grew up on a block, everybody know your family. When something happened, everybody know. Bro, I was in a room with my three kids because I had my own room and my kids was in there in my mother's house. But my door is like the first door. Like, as soon as you open the house door, my door was like right here. That was my room. We're sitting there and all you hear is like, Boom, boom, boom. Whole door breaks down. Cops come raiding the house. Raiding my house. My mama house. Yes, the cops. Everybody on the floor. Insane. You hear me? Insane. Why? Because my mother wants to sell crack. Yep, yep, yep. That's why, right? Raids the house. Guess what saved us? The bed bugs. That's what saved us. You know why? Because the police ran to the back room. They said, let's get the fuck out of here. They got bed bugs. Within like 15 minutes, ACS was there. Yep, that, yep, yep, yep. ACS was right there. They was like, uh, listen, we got reports of bed bugs. There's children in here. There's drugs in here. Girl, I had to tell these people like, listen, I'm visiting. I don't live here. <laughs> I lied. I said I'm visiting. I don't live here. They made me go and take strands of my hair to take a drug test to see that I wasn't on drugs. And I had to tell them, like, uh-uh, I don't live here. Good thing my sister lives around the corner. I said, I live around the corner. I'm just here visiting. My kids ain't got nothing to do with this. Nothing to do with this. So that's what saved me. But that was so embarrassing when i tell you everybody on the block knew what happened and i was the talk of the town because every time i walked by i was like you know our family they, 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 they.
place ran up in there. I was like, bro, I hate this family. <laughs> like, why, why y'all like this? Y'all so embarrassing. This is why I don't want to come from y'all. I don't know y'all. Like, the ghetto, the ghetto ness that I've been through is insane. Now, this is like relationship embarrassing. I don't know if you've ever done anything embarrassing in a relationship, but these are the most embarrassing moments that I can remember. My kids are slow. Don't pay no attention. One time, one of my children's father was messing with this girl. Like, it was his ex-girlfriend, and he left me to go be with her. And I wanted him back so bad that I intentionally got fat because the girl was fat. So I got fatter. Because I was like, oh, he must really like real big girls. I dyed my hair the same color as hers. Because I thought like, oh, he liked her because her hair was honey blonde. I copied her style. So I started dressing like her. Because I was like, oh, that's why he went back to her. Because he, what was I, what was really on my mind? Why in life would I ever think that that was acceptable? Like, baby girl, you was so pressed. You tried to steal this girl's identity? How dumb was I? Let's not forget how another one of my baby fathers, because y'all know I got four kids and seven baby daddies. One of them left me to go back to their ex as well. When I tell you I stalk them, I know this is so embarrassing and you should never say out loud that you stalk somebody. Baby, I stalk them. Do you hear me? I had a fake Facebook page. I will wake up and look at his page, look at her page. I would check her page 50 times a day. Check his page 60 and cry at every time she posts them together, post the pictures. I knew more about their life than they knew about their life because I was so pressed. I was so pressed. Girl, what is really wrong? And don't let me find out some tea. Because I'm calling him out. First of all, somebody told me that. Nobody told me anything. I was stalking. And I figured that out on my own. No one told me nothing. W what was chemically going on in my brain. To make me think. Hey Jasmine. Stalk your ex. Stalk the person that left you. Try to steal the ex-girlfriend's identity. So he can like you better. That ain't normal. And that's embarrassing hella embarrassing oh no it gets worse i was dating a guy and i knew he was a dog i knew he was a low down dirty dog but somehow every time he would cheat on me he would make it up in a better way like i can't really describe it it all boils down to i was dumb and i'm not making no excuses for it but he would cheat but then he would make it right even better so i would forgive him like and, and, and I don't know how to put it into words. But anywho, a son in my soul said he was cheating. That's because he was a cheater. So do you know that I made a fake Facebook page? Pretended to be... I stole one of my co-workers' pictures, number one. Pretended to be my co-worker. Talked to him. He was supposed to be on his way to pick me up from work. I was messaging him like, oh, can you meet me at such and such? He wrote me like, oh, I'm not going to be able to pick you up from work because I got something to do. Mind you, he's talking to the girl Carmen, which is really me. And he like, yeah, come meet me on 125th Street at Popeye's. I'm like, yeah, I'll be there in 20 minutes. Da, 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 da. He, mind you, he texting me, calling me. He like, yeah, I got an emergency, family emergency. I got to go take care of him. I'm not going to be able to pick you up. Oh, my gosh, this is crazy. I'm like, damn, all right, I feel so bad for you. Mind you, he's on his way to meet Carmen, which is me. Do y'all know I really went to 125th Street, really walked into Popeye's? This nigga lifted his head up and was like, Blamed it all on me. He's like, damn, you stupid. You slow. You got mad time on your hand. Like, who does stuff like this? We walked from about 125th Street to about 180th. Arguing. Arguing, fighting, arguing. Just to get right on the train and come home together. For him to come right to my place. Girl, when I tell you I was a new type of... They didn't make my type of dumb. The dumb I was, they never created that yet. I think I was the first batch of the dummies. Like, what? I went through all that work to trick somebody for them to fall for the bait just for us to go home together? Baby girl, at this point, it was just foreplay. 
because you was never leaving. All I did was cry and stay, cry and stay. I was so dumb. I want this to be an extremely safe place. Don't worry, if somebody try to come at you crazy, one thing I don't play with is about y'all. I play with a lot of things, but I don't play with y'all. So if somebody try to come at you crazy in the comment section, you already know they're going to be blocked and deleted. This is a safe place. I want you to think of your most embarrassing moment. Friend, we're going to talk about it. Whether it's sad, whether it's funny or indifferent, I want you to think about a moment that you say, I cannot believe I'm about to share this in public. And I want you to leave it in the comment section below. I can't wait to read them. I'm replying to each and every one of them because I know something embarrassing that you was just like, yeah, damn, I want this to go away. I want to act like this didn't happen. I know you have a story to tell. So leave it in the comment section down below. Thank you for tuning in. And I cannot believe I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Ain't that crazy?